Tech Nomad here, and we're going to continue our series on what I think are really cool apps. And in this video, we're going to take a look at Drop Sync. Now, Drop Sync works with Dropbox. Dropbox is the cloud storage company. There's a bunch of them out there, and this is considered one of the main ones. Um, I would think of it as the main one, but okay, uh, it's at least in the top three, if not the top two, if not the top one. In any event. And it allows you to store your files up into the cloud. Now, the problem with that is, is even though you have a nice program on your phone, the Dropbox program is on your phone, if you need to get access to one of the files, you have to go in and get the file, and then you go in, and then you can either make it a favorite, and it will sort of kind of keep downloading it for you onto your device, or you have to go in and do an export, and export will take it from the cloud and put it onto your device. Well, that becomes a little tiresome, and it's one way. So if I do something in the cloud, it will bring it onto my phone, but then if I modify that file, it doesn't know to send it back up. So that's where Drop Sync comes into play. So Drop Sync comes in two flavors, obviously a free flavor, and then they have the Drop Sync Pro. And I'm not even sure what it was. Whatever it was, it was worth it. And let's take a look at Drop Sync. So after you have loaded the Drop Sync program and added in your information, you then have the ability to set up what folders you want to sync, how, and why. So let's go into Settings. And... We have the folders that we can have. Let's not, we'll just go right in, right in a row here. All right, so here we have some folders that I'm already syncing. And we'll just pick one just so that we can kind of sort of take a look at it. So I'm going to just take one that says Alarms. I'm not even sure what folder this is. So this is a folder on my phone called Alarms. And I'm now going to pick what folder I want it to sync with up on my uh, up on my cloud storage up on my Dropbox. So I'm going to say new folder and just so I don't completely mess myself up, I'll just call it alarm just for the heck of it. And okay, so now I'm going to select alarm up here. And now here comes all the good stuff. So it says, look, I'm going to take on your phone, I'm going to take the folder called Alarms, and I'm going to sync it with a Dropbox folder called Alarms. And then it says, how do you want me to sync this? And it gives me a bunch of different ways. I can do two-way, which is what I normally use. That means if I make a change in the cloud, it pushes to the phone. If I make a change to the phone, it pushes to the cloud. Upload only means, obviously, once it uploads it, it just goes up. And if something changes in the cloud, it doesn't do anything. Upload and delete, which is really cool. Upload and delete means that it will upload and then delete off of your phone. So let's say you want to take a bunch of pictures and you're worried about how much space you have on your card. Well, as soon as you take a picture, it will upload that and then delete it. Or you have a file that you put on your phone and upload and it will delete that. Upload mirror means it uploads, but it maintains a, a, a mirror aspect. Download only, obviously you can figure that one out. It just downloads, downloads and deletes, and download mirror. So you have a lot of creative ways that you can set this. And then once you set it, that's pretty much it. Now let's go back and take a look at... So I have a couple of different ones. I have one called Phone Media. And that's my ringtones and notifications and alarms and sounds and all that stuff. And I change devices pretty often. So this two-way this two-way folder means that when I download a new ringtone, it's automatically pushed up to the cloud. But it also means, since I have Drop Sync loaded on my tablets and my other devices, that that ringtone immediately becomes available on all of my other devices. Now, if I wasn't using Drop Sync, I might be able to get the file up there, but then if I wanted to use it on another device, I'd have to export it. This way, I don't have to do it. As soon as I, as soon as I save it onto my phone, it immediately goes up to the cloud and is immediately populated to all of the other pieces. Um, I use a, a program called St. Petersburg Wallet. We'll talk about that a little bit later. And same deal. Uh, I'm using this as a as I'm making changes, it's automatically syncing those changes. 
And as you can see, here it is, the High Tech Nomad Raw Video. As I said before, I actually edit these videos. I record them on my laptop and I record them using Camtasia. I then save that file to a folder on my hard drive in my Dropbox. That file is immediately sent to my phone and then I can just edit it on my phone, save it, and then go from there. So it's, it's as you can see, there's a whole bunch of different ways you can use this. Let's take a look at a couple of the other settings that it has. So you get a feel for it. So it's not a battery hog. Um, it has a smart change detection, so it can figure out when it should run, when it shouldn't run. Uh, you have exclude name pattern, so if you have something that you don't want to uh, have it sync, you can do that. You can uh, skip files. You can specify the upload side size. So if you say, look, I don't want to upload or download something you know past a certain point you can set that there <clears throat> so we have an upload file limit size a download file limit size and one if you're on a mobile network uh, I'm one of those lucky people if you want to call us lucky that still has an unlimited data plan from Verizon so I don't have to worry about if it sends up two gigs three gigs four gigs makes no difference to me makes a difference to them apparently um, however I could say warn me if I'm on a mobile network you could also even restrict it and say only do the syncing when you're on a Wi-Fi network. You can turn this on and off. So, for example, if you do need to. And how often should it check to see if there's new files? And you can do that anywhere from once a day to once an hour to every five minutes. Uh, in the old days, I when I first started using this, I had this down to five minutes. I did see a little bit of a drain. Not a, not a bunch. But I've now decided that five minutes is just too excessive. I don't really need to check every five minutes to see if there's a file. Uh, 15 minutes is, is fine. 30 is, that's okay. In an hour, that's more than enough time. Okay. If it has some kind of a problem, it has a retry file and then it has an instant upload feature, which is basically, so it's, even though this is set for one hour, when I save something on my phone, it will instantly upload that to the cloud. And, but it's saying once an hour, it will check the cloud to see if there's something that needs to come back down. Okay. Gives me all the stats as far as how much space. As you can see, uh, I was at 94 gigs. So remember now, before they upgraded this, I only had 100 gigs. So I was right on the edge. And then I got that nice letter from them saying that they had changed their structure and now I have one terabit, so I went from being at 85% or 90% uh, full to now 90% empty. And at any point in time, I can force a synchronization. And I can actually go in and take a look at the sync history. And this will actually tell me, you know, what it's done, as you can see. So it was doing some the last thing it did is pushed over uh, a video. It downloaded a video on there. And it, you can keep those. I forget how far back they go. They go back a fair ways. So you can see I deleted some files on my end, and it automatically deleted those from the cloud as well. So this is Drop Sync. And like I said, this is, I, I don't know what it was going for. I don't think it's actually gone up that much. It has a free offering. The free offering, I think, will sync one folder. Uh, I think it will sync one folder, and I think it syncs it once an hour. They obviously have some restrictions on it to try and entice you to, to get the other piece. For some of you, you can get away with using the free offering from Dropbox, which is two gigs, and using the free version of DropSync. Uh, I originally had set my mother up, actually, with that before uh, DropSync, I'm sorry, before Dropbox was actually uploading photos, I was using this on my mother's phone so that when she took a picture, those pictures were automatically being put into a Dropbox folder. And even now they're doing that, but Dropbox only goes one way. So if my mother takes a picture with her phone, it gets uploaded to the cloud, but I wanted her to be able to go both ways. And so DropSync provides that and allows her, if she gets a, a picture in her email and she saves it to her picture folder, it's automatically pushed to her phone via drop sync so that she can look at it in the gallery on her phone. So I hope you're enjoying this series. I'm going to try to keep cranking these out as quick as I possibly can. 
I uh, really appreciate if you hit the like button. I would super appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. That gives me a little um, more information as to, it gives me a little reason to keep going here, keep reason to live. And also, any of your comments, uh, good, bad, otherwise, um, just want to get a feel for uh, are these videos too long? Are these videos too short? Am I going over things too quick? Do you want me to cover something else? So that's what that that's what the comments are there for. Try to try to keep them positive, but you know, I I'll I'll take constructive criticism. All right, this is the High Tech Nomad signing off, and we'll see you again soon.